the final episode of Cobra Kai season three better than the final episode of Mandalorian season two. Hey friends, I'm James Gaddis. Welcome to Nostalgic. Yeah, that's Nostalgic with an AK at the end because we are in Alaska, the 49th state. I know it doesn't look like it. We're currently down in the basement in the home that is in Alaska. Uh, eventually, I'll get you outside and show you around a bit. That's part of what this channel is going to be all about. The big part, though, about getting nostalgic, especially as it relates to the 80s and 90s video games, pop culture. So in this video, I will explain to you why I think the final episode of Cobra Kai this past season no mercy! was better than the final episode of The Mandalorian. Yeah, the one where Luke Skywalker showed up. Are you a Jedi? I am. But first things first, this is the inaugural. This is the first video. So if you'd like more content that is gonna make you feel nostalgic, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button below, uh, and help me grow this channel, this community. Today, Junior! All right, let's get to the matter at hand, and let's start with The Mandalorian, that final episode, Luke Skywalker Returns. Should I have said spoiler alert? I think at this point we all know what happens, right? Okay, we're beyond that. Same thing goes for Cobra Kai. We're gonna talk about the end of both. Okay, so why didn't this one hit me as hard as the end of Cobra Kai? Well, Still amazing, but I think there was something about uh, those dark troopers at the end, and they were just super slow and lumbering. Super slow and lumbering. And it didn't look like they put up much of a challenge or a fight. A couple of blaster shots here and there. Um, I mean, it, it was cool, but it didn't have the same... I don't know, it didn't have the same effect for me. Again, maybe that just proves just how powerful he was five years after Return of the Jedi. And then of course the other is the CGI. It, it was all right and I think everybody can admit it was all right. And for some it didn't matter. It, it, just the moment overshadowed the CGI, right? To them it was just Luke was back, it didn't matter. But to me it took something away and it kind of brought me back to reality. It just wasn't it wasn't really him. But it brought to mind, just a few days ago in fact, uh, I was re-watching all the Marvel movies and I got to Captain America Civil War. And holy cow, there's that scene, uh, well, the flashback scene with a very young uh, Tony Stark. So it's Monday. That is good to know. I will plan my toga party accordingly. And I was thinking to myself, holy cow, like this was, maybe it was a money thing, I don't know because this was a motion picture, um, but, but they nailed it. Marvel nailed it. It was perfect. I wish that could have been Luke Skywalker. It's coming from a big Star Wars fan. Like, I'm deep in it. I waited 15 hours in line to see the trailer for, of all movies, The Last Jedi at Star Wars Celebration uh, in Orlando. On the side, I've got a side gig as a toy photographer. Not just toys, any toys, but Star Wars toys. I've had exhibits and I sell them at conventions. Read all the comics, watch all the movies, watch all the cartoons. You know, I'm just, I'm in it to win it. Uh, I know a lot of my friends and fellow Star Wars fans, I mean, it brought them to tears. And I guess if anything, I feel like I'm missing out. Like I missed out on that moment. May the force be with you. And that takes us to the Karate Kid. Oh man, that final episode, uh, definitely some water in the eyes. Karate Kid 1984, you know, I'm not even sure which one of these movies, whether Karate Kid or the Star Wars films, uh, I had seen first. So I was born in 1979. Ralph Macchio, born on Long Island just like I was. In fact, he graduated high school in 1979, the year I was born, and from uh, Half Hollow Hills West High School. He grew up in Huntington, 20 minutes from West Islip on the south shore of Long Island, where I grew up. So Ralph Macchio was a big deal. He was a local boy, and so I grew up and Karate Kid was a big part of my life. I love that movie. And I'm not one of those that watched Cobra Kai when it came out on YouTube. I waited until Netflix and I got in on it when everybody else did. And man, I just fell in love. You know, the whole time you're rooting for Johnny. Yeah, asshole, I clicked all the buttons. I still can't find the internet. You're rooting for him to become a better man, to fall in love, to become friends with Daniel. Hopefully, right? You're kind of hoping for both of them to team up. And then at the end, whew, eventually, as I can feel it 
coming in the air tonight. Oh, no. oh, oh, I think it's a the Proto Men, Proto Men cover of Phil Collins's In the Air Tonight as it plays and the band gets back together. The kids are hugging, high fives. Daniel's standing there watching them in this moment outside Miyagi-Do and then all of a sudden, Johnny Lawrence comes around the corner. Oh, boom, it hit me. This was it, man. This is the moment I have been waiting for. They are finally gonna team up. They're gonna be buds. And I just started to well up a little bit, especially when they both bowed, kept eye contact at each other, show of respect. It is on. And therefore, just for that reason, it hit me a little bit harder. And maybe it's because, you know what? I was getting to see Johnny Lawrence in the flesh. That was him, not a CGI version. I mean, there's Daniel LaRusso, Johnny Lawrence, side by side, foes since 1984. And now they're about to kick ass and take names against the big bad crease. Let me know in the comments below, especially if you're a big Star Wars fan and you were loving Cobra Kai, which one hit you harder? Because I get it. If you watch Cobra Kai, but you don't watch The Mandalorian so much, you're not into Star Wars, of course Cobra Kai was gonna be the bigger draw for you. But if you fall into both categories, I would love to know what you think. And is there anything I missed that maybe could change my mind? Although it's tough because I'm working straight on emotion. How did I feel in that moment? Be sure to subscribe and like, and uh, yeah, be prepared to get your hit of nostalgia on a weekly, hopefully soon enough, a daily basis. So you can then, you know, deal with the rest of your day, the current, the present, and uh, we can all move onward and upward.